All right, so I want to give my opinion on Victory and Indian motorcycles right now because obviously Victory's come out with a lot of new stuff recently um, between the uh, the new Vision and the the Highball. That's, I mean, they're all a couple years old. Like when I say recently, I mean like the last four years. I'd say. Um, I don't know exactly when these models came out, but that's not really the point. They have they have a you know new bikes, and obviously. Polaris, which owns Victory, so I'm kind of lumping Indian now into the mix too, because they own Indian as well. But both those lines realistically are not competitors because they've tried to make bikes that appeal to different crowds. Um, you know, Indian more toward Harley people and Victory toward, and that's what I want to talk about. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not really sure what market Victory is going for. And let me let me first say this. I think Victory motorcycles are pretty damn cool. I love the engine design. I've never ridden one, but I love the engine design. I love the the you know the concept they've gone for. Uh, overhead cams, pretty big bore, you know, 106 inch, so a little bit bigger than the Harleys. Um, a more modern design, so you get more power out of it, better fuel mileage, a little bit better less gaskets and stuff to go wrong. I mean, I really like that whole concept. That's a great idea, and I think it's really cool. But the way the Victory bikes are designed, actually, like, actual looks-wise, I don't really get it. Like, I'm not sure... I'm not sure who, like, what market that's trying to compete with, because they look... Like, they remind me of the Jetsons. Like, that's the best way I can... I don't know. They just look like they should be... They're, they're, they're spacecrafts. They don't look like a motorcycle to me. Like, to me, a Harley is like sleek and sexy and lo looks really nice. Uh, a Goldwing, you know, it's set up, it's a purpose-built machine to tour the country on, and it has a really powerful, uh, you know, 1800cc engine. Like, all those bikes kind of have their own niche and look a certain way based on what they're made to do. But I feel like the Victory, on one hand, is trying to compete with the Harley, like with the Highball, is trying to compete with the Street Bob. Well, the Highball looks totally, it has the whole blacked out look going for it, but it looks totally different from the perspective that it has the really space, spacey caught lines and all that crap. So I don't really know, I don't know who they compete with. I'm not sure who likes that style of bike. Like I don't personally like the way a Victory looks. I, I would ride one and enjoy it probably, and they're probably great bikes and they probably have a lot of advantages over Harley Davidson. But I just, I don't like the way they look. To me, they just, they don't look right. I think that Victory could sell so many more bikes if they just changed the way they looked and made them look more, um, I'm gonna say more contemporary in that they look futuristic. So if they made a more contemporary looking bike that had more round lines, not those straight, jagged, kind of like swoopy, I don't know, it's weird. Like it's a, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it honestly, but you know, look at a picture of a Victory and that's what I'm talking about. Um, but I feel like if they just had more contemporary styling, more people would buy them. I know I would look at one, uh, like I, I would at least entertain the idea for my next bike. I'm not saying I would go, I would make the switch, but I'd, I'd take a look at one. Um, but like the way they are now, I just, they're all ugly to me personally. Now this brings me to Indians. Obviously the Indian is at least that's a, that's an obvious market. The Indian is trying to compete with Harley Davidson. They they did that for the last uh, you know, whatever 50, 60 years they were in business, and they're going to continue to do that now. So that's great. I mean, that's competition is, is a good thing. Um, but what I don't get is uh, the the they make the Indian Chief Chieftain. I think it's the Chieftain, the full touring bike. That's you know comparable to the Electroglide. Um, or the Victory Vision for that matter. I think it's called the Chieftain, I'm not really sure. But with that bike, I like that they've, they've encompassed old Indian styling, but I feel like it's almost too, I don't know, again, I just don't really like the way it looks. It doesn't look, like I, I really like the way the old Indians look, but that bike to me doesn't scream old Indian from every aspect. It does look like an old Indian in a lot of ways. The fenders and the, the bags and all that. But for some reason, the I don't know, the rest of the bike just looks, again, almost like too futuristic, which is weird to say because they're meant to look classic and you know, you know, retro. But I almost feel, I don't know. It just, 
and that's, I guess that's the thing about Harley Davidson. Like, beyond any of the engine aspects, the, the mechanical aspects, whatever, handling characteristics, speed, power, lean angles, any of that stuff beyond that, Harley Davidsons are truly the only cruiser that like looks right to me. If, when I look at a Nissan Maxima, yeah, I might not want to buy one, but at least the car looks right. Like it's a nice looking car. It's not, it, you know, it makes sense the way they designed it. But when I look at a Victory, or, or like I said, even those Indians, they just don't look quite right to me. I feel like they not, they just, the designers didn't make an attractive looking motorcycle. And I mean, as of, obviously that's just one man's opinion, but apparently a lot of people feel that way from the perspective that they haven't sold a lot of Indians and they haven't sold a lot of Victories. Obviously the Indians are kind of too new to really hate on right now, but um, and, and like I said, I would ride any of these bikes and give any of them a shot, and it's not that I have anything against them. I'm just saying kind of how I feel about it, that's all. Oh, and as for the Victory, I think the big problem with Victories right now are they don't have a Sportster equivalent motorcycle. They don't have that smaller frame size entry level bike. And the Sportster is Harley Davidson's number one best selling model. So I don't understand their marketing philosophy. If you want to attack a company and try to take market share, wouldn't you design a bike that directly competes with their most popular bike? I don't know. Now maybe in their logic they're saying, okay, less people buy these other bikes, let's try to take, you know, people apparently, let's say, aren't happy with Harley Davidson touring bikes, so let's try to take those shares. Well that makes enough sense, but I don't know. I just don't know if that's the best marketing strategy. I'm not a I'm not a accountant or a you know marketing person, so I wouldn't really know. But it just seems logical to me that if you want to compete with Harley, you build a Sportster. Basically, you just you just build a your version of a Sportster first, and then build other stuff because that's what sells the most. 